It's been one year since a transformational climate package was announced in Congress, including $100 billion in new commitments for manufacturing facilities and the creation of a new battery belt here in the U.S. But plenty of questions remain. Our Pippa Stevens has more. Pippa? Hey, Leslie. Well, the agreement between Senator Schumer and Manchin, which ultimately became the Inflation Reduction Act, has led to a massive boom in clean energy manufacturing. More than $150 billion has been invested across more than 40 new factories since the law's implementation. But the energy transition goes beyond the solar and wind names that tend to capture much of the attention. And there are also many under-the-radar beneficiaries from the climate law. That includes electric and equipment players, which Bernstein calls the picks and shovels of the energy transition, like Quanta Services, Maztec, Acom, and Jacobs Engineering, which build transmission lines. There's also Schneider Electric, Eaton, and ABB, which help with energy management systems. Now, one year in, some of the incentives have yet to be clarified, and the clock is ticking, and there's a lot of money on the line. The government still needs to decide which solar products qualify for the highest manufacturing credits, as well as which projects get the 10 percent credit boost for domestic content. But the biggest unknown is perhaps what's meant by green hydrogen, which could have major implications for a nascent industry and companies like Plug Power, Bloom Energy and oil giants like Exxon and BP. Carl and Leslie.